All right, so I'm getting ready to glue up this knife. I'm just gonna clean everything off. Acetone. I like to use this vise. Give me a little bit of a third hand, if you will. Loosen this up a little bit. Just so I maneuver. Clean everything, clean the wood, clean the scales. Pins. Put a little fuller in there, just give epoxy somewhere to go on the blade and the handles. Um, let me just scuff these up, I haven't done that. These pins just kind of come a little bit little bit smooth to begin with. It's just like a 120. Just scratch it up a little bit. You'll be able to see, just knock off that little bit of shine that's on there. Give the epoxy something to bite into. to use uh, West Systems G-Flex. And I'll add just a little bit of a Alumilite dye to it. Makes it all just turn black. I also like to use these little uh, cosmetic pads to clean up the uh, fronts of the handles. Those work really well. So I'm just using a piece of old cardboard here. I don't need a whole lot. So. You can definitely tell when it's warm out because this stuff comes out so much better when it's cold it's like doesn't want to come out at all so I just mix this up really well and then I will add just a little bit of the dye and it will it will let you know when you have it mixed up really well because everything will be black let me just break this in half. No, maybe not. Maybe I'll get a new one. And this should work. So I just mix this up first. Wear gloves. Once you start cleaning, wear gloves. You don't want any oils from your hands on the blade or anything. So that's pretty good there. So I'm gonna mix up some more. I just take a toothpick. You wanna prep a lot of this stuff. I have all this stuff set up. And this is just black, black alumilite dye. And it literally, like that's that's more than plenty. It just takes a, a drop, literally a drop. Doesn't affect the epoxy. It just dyes it black. So if you have any kind of 
one it lets you know when you got the epoxy mixed up really well and also if you have any kind of little tiny gaps in your glue up it blends that in really well so you can't see it so you see just a little bit of that goes a long way Okay, so now that that's mixed up, get rid of that. Go ahead and do the blade. Now I don't, I don't go all the way up because it's it. I got my first pin here, and I kind of go about where that is. I have an idea of where my handle stops, but I'll put more on the handle than on the blade, just for that reason. So there's this little bit of a, a fuller in the tang of the blade and that allows the blade the, the, the epoxy to go through the handle and and kind of adhere to both sides of the scales gives it somewhere to go keeps it from squeezing out all the way just all that kind of stuff so make sure you got the right handle go on the right side so you're not dancing around with it butter and toast you don't need a ton of it on here but you want to make sure you don't have any dry spots just getting it all covered now these handles are a little bit oversized which is fine just gives it give you a little bit to clean up grind to it's better than not having enough and having to grind your tang down to make it work for your handles. It can be frustrating. Um, when I get up here close to the front, I won't put as much, but you still, you still wanna get right there up to your, you probably, I don't want a lot of squeeze out is why I try to avoid that a little bit up towards the front, it's just less clean up, but you still wanna get epoxy up there but you want to be maybe a little bit neater about it. So, just take your time. And say this is 30 minute epoxy, so you should have plenty of time. A lot of it depends on the weather, but you still don't have to rush as much as you might think. Now granted, if I was doing more than one of these, yeah, you're you need to have these things ready to go but i'm just doing this one so nice coverage epoxy all over it and set that down get a little bit of epoxy on the pan Ding. So make sure you get epoxy in all the pins, not just one it fills in because these, these pins are a quarter inch and the hole themselves the, uh, in the wood is just a little bit oversized and that's another reason I like to use black pins is you have black epoxy they kind of blend in. You want to make sure you get it all the way through working that epoxy now these pins are are uh, i cut are pretty flush with the outside so now i like to do the lanyard tube blast it just seems to be a little bit tighter and i don't want to push everything out so i just i just do it last once i have everything kind of thing so i put a little bit of epoxy on all the pins I used to do this without gloves on and it was like I would always have epoxy everywhere. Take like a week for it to wear off. 
Yeah, I don't do that anymore. You do not want this stuff on you. It doesn't come off, it wears off. Okay. So now that there, take your time, line it up. There. Give it a little bit of a squeeze just to kind of set it. Okay. Now I can. I don't turn it all the way, but I turn enough that I can get epoxy on this side of the handle. Now you have a better idea of where your handle is going. And you can be a little bit more liberal with your epoxy. You're gonna use it, you might as well use it. You've already you've already mixed it up, so fill in some of the holes. But I got I got big holes uh, that I drill that go in between my pinholes and that's that's what I put the epoxy to go through and so I just I just dump a bunch of epoxy in those those holes as I'm going it just kind of you know allows your glue not to go from one side it goes all the way through I think it probably helps with some air bubbles maybe I don't know Okay, that looks good. Put some on this side. I really like using these uh, these vices. Um, I don't know what that is. Some kind of fuzzy. Uh, when doing this, it's, I feel like you always need an extra hand gluing up. You don't have to hold everything. Um, these are Micarta pins. When I do Corby's, it's even better because I can just take both my bits from both sides and tighten everything down. I hardly ever use clamps after that because the Corby's really cinch them down. You don't you don't want to use the Corby's to tighten them down, but I use uh, I use clamps to clamp everything. But then I tighten up my Corby's to tighten just to kind of cinch everything up. And I mean, honestly, if you got your handles flat, the Corby's are just kind of holding things. They don't really, you don't need a whole lot of pressure. I think some people try to clamp them flat and if they're flat already, you just kind of holding them there till the epoxy sets up. You don't, you don't really need a ton of pressure. There's that one. Let me get a little bit more on that one. Okay, here we go. Missed a little spot. Line the pins up. Now, you gotta be careful when you do this because the pins will wanna push back, kind of even your pins out, make sure they're coming out both sides. Okay. Now, get some epoxy on your lanyard tube. I gotta twist a lot of times to get that to go in. And it's a little bit tight. So I'll just tap it. So 
that's the only reason I do it last is just because the drill that's the next size up but doesn't make them really really big is uh just a little bit tighter so I don't want to push my handles off while I'm trying to get it together so usually I have to tap it in a little bit these are actually carbon fiber aero shafts I just like that size um, and they they do a really good job it's plenty big but I had a bunch of aero shafts that I just have broken so I just use them now now that I have it in this vise I can just take these clamps and just snug everything up and so you don't need to torque them down but just snug them up you don't want them loose this back part's kind of hard sometimes to get a good spot no it's a bad idea So that's good all right so i've got a little bit of squeeze out here which is perfectly normal you want a little bit of squeeze out so i just take this just like that and we're done that's clean so I can do the other side. And it's clean. And as this sits up, as it starts curing, it's going to expand a little bit more. I'll come back after a little while and clean it up again because there's always I always get just a little bit more but you want to make sure you get that initial off nice and clean that's it so bring you in here The fronts are nice and clean, a little bit to grind off. All the pins are nice. You got epoxy coming out, all of them. This one's, you see this one right here is not all the way out, but these handles will get cut back here. So that'll be plenty. I always, if I have a shorter pin, yeah, this would look really good, don't it? If I have a shorter pin, I'll put it up here because I, I taper my handles back. So it's like tapered towards the back. So I always make sure I have a, a, a shorter pin up front if I have one. But we got epoxy coming out that side. So we'll let that sit and glue and cure. What I like to do though is do that. So if anything's dripping, it just falls in the trash can. So there you go. That's a glue up.